Hey everyone, Dave here from Archaeus Creative to share with you a few lesser known hotkeys that I've found to be helpful while working on an edit. All the commands we're entering are found within Premiere Pro CC 2017's default keyboard shortcuts, which can be accessed and modified here. These hotkeys will also only function with the timeline panel selected. If you're working through an edit and need to make a cut through all of the tracks, use Shift Command K to add an edit to all tracks regardless of whether the clips on them are enabled, selected, or targeted. However, this will not cut clips on tracks that are locked. To move many items quickly along the timeline, use the Track Select Forward tool. Simply press A and click anywhere within the timeline panel to select all clips to the right of the cursor. This oftentimes can be more helpful and fail-safe than drawing a marquee box. If you've got your clips in the right order, but their pacing is slightly off, try the Rolling Edit tool to adjust when the first clip ends and the second begins. Clicking N turns this tool on, which allows you to click and drag the cut point between the clips. Let's say your pacing is spot on, but you'd like to see a different segment of a clip. Clicking Y will bring up the Slip tool, allowing you to retain a clip's in and out points while leaving its pacing intact. With this tool, I like to think of viewing a physical film strip through a window, and just adjusting which moment of it is visible through that window. Lastly, if you're looking to gain some speed in color grading or applying effects to multiple clips, try pasting attributes from a clip to one or more other clips. Just copy the clip with the filters or adjustments you want replicated by pressing Command C. Then, highlight the clips you want these settings applied to and press Command Option V to bring up the Paste Attributes window. Check the box next to whichever video and audio attributes you want pasted, hit OK, and now all the clips you selected will have these same adjustments. Keep in mind that time-specific modifications like keyframing or warp stabilizer will have mixed results when applied to clips of varying lengths. These five hotkeys are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to streamlining your editing workflow. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below.